Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to seal your pavers on your pool deck. I'm going to be going over everything you need, tools, supplies, and just some, a couple of things that will help you out. Right, the first things you're going to need are the sealer itself. I'm using the Dyco Paver Sealer. It's acrylic. There's different types of sealers. There's acrylic, there's polyurethane. Uh, this is what I chose to go with. It's got a clear finish. It's non-yellowing, resist staining, chipping, and peeling, and it is clear, so it'll give it a, it'll, it's really gonna bring out the color in the stone. Also you're gonna need is a brush. If you have coping around your pool, this is gonna allow you to get in there and, and get those edges that you otherwise couldn't get with the sprayer. And when you're doing that, you're also gonna use a rag, just any throwaway rag will work. You're also gonna need some sort of sprayer. I'm just using a cheap one from Lowe's. After running the sealer through it, it's probably going to be need to be thrown away. To get the rust off the pavers themselves, I'm going to be using a muriatic acid mix. This is going to get rid of all that rust stains on your, on your pavers. And I suggest using uh, some safety gloves and some form of eye protection as this stuff will eat you up if you get it on you. To be cleaning the pavers fully today, I'm going to be using just regular dish soap and a brush. And optional is a blower. It's going to help you get a lot of stuff off your pavers pretty quickly. If not, you can just use a broom. I also suggest having a strong scrubbing brush. Uh, this is more like a sponge, but it's really coarse. So either a strong bristle brush or a sponge. And also you're going to need some water in a container that's safe to hold acid. So in this case, I'm using glass. Another thing that's optional is a pressure washer. This is going to help you get rid of a lot of those stains and mold if you have a lot of that. My pavers are only about a year old, so they're not really that bad. So just a quick brush and cleaning will be all I need. First thing I'm going to be working on is getting all the rust stains out of the pavers just from the patio furniture sitting on it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so when getting rust out, you always pour acid in the water and never add water into acid. So what I'm doing is about a 50-50 mix. And what you do, you take it and you just pour it on your areas with rust and it's going to immediately start foaming up. Take your brush. Just give it a little agitation to help get all that out of there for you. And then you can see all the rust is now gone. And you're going to repeat this process everywhere you have rust. Once you've scrubbed out all of the areas with the rust stains on it, the next thing you're going to do is work on getting all of your um, any leaves or anything, the foliage that's growing out, uh, I'm just going to pull them out. Once it's all cleaned and scrubbed off and you rinse all the soap off, now you just want to let it dry. Uh, it's 90 degrees outside today in Florida, so it shouldn't take too long. You can see they're already starting to dry. I'll probably give them two or three hours to fully dry. All right, once it's dry enough, what you're going to do is you just want to check to make sure all your joints and your pavers aren't missing any sand, which as you can see, these are 
pretty washed out. Um, so what I'm going to do is add some more sand in here. And what the sand does is it prevents the pavers from shifting and sinking in the ground. It also provides a barrier for plants and uh, ants and things to get in between there. So I'm going to be doing that right now. The kind of sand I'm going to be using is just paver sand. You can get this from Lowe's. Uh, it's like pretty cheap. It's about three or four bucks. And that's what I'm going to be using to fill in the gaps in the pavers. So basically all you do is you just pour it out. Just whatever you think you're going to need. And you take your brush. And brush it in. I'm just going to fill in every little gap that you can. Alright, once all the sand has been pushed in, uh, as you can see the cracks are all filled in now. Um, now we're going to blow it off lightly with the blower, just get all this loose sand off and then we're going to rinse it very lightly so we don't push any of the sand off but if you want to get all that little bit of sand that's still on top, you just want to get all that off before you seal it. dry overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna come out and I'll be ready to seal all right so the papers dried overnight first thing I'm gonna be working on today is sealing the coping around the edges of the pool all right for this step you're gonna need a rag and your brush what the rag is for is just to keep any of the sealer from going in to your pool so you're basically just gonna hold it underneath so what you can do is get a little bit on your brush like that and hold your rag underneath and then you're just going to put it on you're gonna make sure you get in all the little cracks and underneath your pavers like that. you're going to get a little bit in the pool but the goal is to try not to get it in the pool I'm done with all the coping now I'm gonna go around and trim all the items that I don't want to spray with sealer so now what you're gonna do is pour your sealer and your sprayer carefully all right so once you start you just want to start applying it and you want to go kind of heavy on it so don't be afraid to let it pull up a lot so it will absorb into the concrete
that's how you seal pavers. Should be safe to walk on after about two to three hours. Um, I wouldn't get it wet any less than 24 hours. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more how-tos and time-lapse in the future, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.